Hey makers this is Ruvin and in this episode we will be talking about environment and solution in power apps the question arises in our mind that what is environment and why do we need a solution i am going to clear all the doubts in this episode but before that if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far please do follow me in our earlier episode we created our office 365 developer account and The Office 365 developer account will looking like this. To navigate through your Office 365 developer account, you simply need to type a URL portal.office.com and it will basically redirecting you to the same page. After waiting for half an hour, my tenant was ready. Now, I need to simply click on the Power Apps from the Humble Bug option. So let's select that and from the navigation, select the Power Apps. or if you are not able to see this option here just click on all the apps and over here there is an option power apps just click on that it will open make.powerapps.com so from here you can start your power apps journey or let's say if you directly want to open this portal you can simply type web.powerapps.com and it will redirecting you to the same page Now before we get started with the power apps journey we need to understand two important terms one is environment and second is solutions so now these are very important when you are developing enterprise level application on the internet when you search for any power apps tutorial they always get started by the app section and they are creating the from scratch app either canvas or model driven or portal app now that is the correct way of doing that but what happen here is when you are developing the enterprise level solutions at that time you need to make everything into one package and that packaging is known as solutioning so before we delay or you know before we implement everything before we develop everything i always recommend to start with the solution even if you are fresher it is the best practice to always get started with the solution so what happen here is when you complete or finish your development you don't face any problems like you know now i want to grab everything into solution i want to add the dependency and now i want to move to the production those type of constraints will be removed if you always start with the solutioning so the very first step is solutioning So now hope you get a clear idea solution is nothing but a packaging of your apps of your connections of your data sources of your custom connectors of your power automate if you have used any all right uh right now it is almost not clear for you i know but when you develop the entire app you will get a better idea so don't worry stay tuned till the last episode you will get to know what exactly the solution is but this is the overall glimpse of the solution Now the second question arises that what is environment mostly at the enterprise level application what happen here is we need to follow overall application life cycle management we always start our development with the development environment after that we are moving our stuff to the qa environment and at last we move our everything into the production environment now what is the best way of doing it the best way of doing is we need to create three different environment so by default whenever a user is created into uh, office 365 basically it is added to the default environment so the default environment is the organization's common environment now over here you can see currently i am a part of this default environment now it is not recommend to develop everything into default environment it's always recommend to create a separate dedicated environment for the development and then move forward with the other stuff but that environment creation process is always a license based you need to go with the licensing model based on the dataverse capacity you are using for your environment so make sure about this thing for overall this demo or overall this tutorial series i am going to create everything into the default environment just because i do not have licensing in place for this environment for this tenant but yeah when you use into your real app or real production sites always create a separate dedicated development environment now i am going to show you the procedure for creating a new environment but before that i am going to activate one trial over here so i can show you that concept 
To activate the trial, basically I need to open the home page of powerapps.microsoft.com and over here there is an option start free. So I am just clicking on there and I just need to fill up one form to activate Power Apps licensing. So now I am clicking on continue and over here I need to select my country or region and I need to add my phone number. So let me just add that. I am just clicking on get started. And over here it is confirming the detail and let's get started. Now first of all in the default environment let's go to the solution and over here there is an option create database. So let's click on it. And over here you need to select the currency, language and let's create a database over here. So it is creating a database and let's try to refresh it. So it is saying that no solution yet building your database so let it to be and here we are once our database is created it is showing the different solution over here so these are all the out of the box solutions which are available in the out of the box manner so let's keep as is and now let's do one thing let's create our new environment so for that click on the setting here click on the admin center and it will open the admin center for us go to the environment section and over here you will be able to see all the environment for our tenant. To create the new environment click on new and provide the name of the environment. So let me provide the name of the environment as prod environment. Select the region, select the type as trial, select the type as trial and now click on next and click on save. So this is creating a new environment for us. This environment creation process is depending upon the licensing. When we create the trial environment, it is basically providing the 30 days period. After 30 days, that environment will be removed. But just for your understanding, I have created this environment. So this environment will be available when it's ready. So let's wait for it and let's move to the power apps home page and let's try to refresh the screen once that environment is created and when you click on this environment section basically it is showing you the production environment and when you select it it will showing the screen like this and it is showing that your trial environment will expire in 29 days so this is the way to create the environment and i always recommend to go with the environment because when you are working with the real app it's always recommend to create the dedicated development QA and production environment and develop the app in that manner by following the overall application lifecycle management all right so this is the way you can define your environment for this overall series i am going to use the default environment because i don't have any additional licensing in place after 30 days my environment will be deleted that's why i'm going to develop everything inside this default environments solution but depending on your need you can choose the different way all right so we are all good all set now let's create a solution for our application so to create the new solution i have opened the default environment but as I told you, you can either open your production environment as well or development environment as well. So let's create a new solution. So I'm just providing the name of the solution as live application system. So that is the application system which we are going to develop from the upcoming episodes. So let's create a solution and over here there is an option for publisher. So publisher is a very important thing. You always need to click on new publisher whenever you are working with the dedicated project. So you need to provide the publisher name can be anything. So let's say this is the live application. So I'm just providing a name live application and provide the name live application. And you can provide the uh, description as well. And you can provide the prefix that LA for live application. I'm just adding that and just click on save. So that will create a new publisher for you. So publisher will help you like this is something which I will going to explain you into upcoming session. So what happen here is whenever you are creating any table or any dataverse column, basically it will use the abbreviation for the publisher that you are creating. So it will always append LA as a leave application before any column names. 
so what happen here is when you move you can easily understand that you know these are something which are always coming from this solution so create a publisher and let's click on create so that will create a new solution for you and your live application solution is ready you can simply open it and now over here you can create the different power apps power automate different environment variable and lots more thing so this is the first step and this is how you can set up your solution and you can set up your environment hope you are good with me so far and now in the next session we will be talking about different concept of canvas app like variable collection and all for that we will create one test power app in directly from the app side we are not going to use solution for that because it's just for the understanding purpose but after that when we develop the real project we will work everything inside the solution itself all right if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you are looking for any consultation just go to my website and go to the contact us page and send me your queries and if you are looking to follow me on my twitter and instagram every links are available in the corner side so do follow me on all my social media handle see you in the next session